All right, guys, so today I want to speak about a couple of topics. The first one I want to talk about is about Guardiola. And so Guardiola hasn't had the best season in the EPL. This season, he has suffered a lot. And right now they're at third place, which is probably his worst season since signing in 2016. And so that is where all these rumors start to come in. There was a report that there is a clause in his contract. And it says right here, Pep Guardiola's secret release clause revealed. Contract agreement means he could leave at the end of the season. And while Manchester City Chiefs are confident of keeping him they are fans of Pochettino and so this report was going all over the world and so Guardiola had to answer and he said this no it's not true I spoke a few weeks ago about my intentions with the club and so when a rumor comes out other medias like to like stack a rumor on top of another rumor and so a report came out also where it says that Barcelona is keeping an eye on Guardiola and his situation with Manchester City and on the title it says here Barcelona are reportedly ready to move for Guardiola should the Spaniard decide to leave Manchester City at the end of the season and so this report was built on because of what Bartomeu said a few days ago in the beginning of this month this is when Bartomeu was talking to La Repubblica and he said it doesn't depend on me it was Pep who decided to leave but the door will always be open for him at Barcelona then we had Guardiola saying he's open to extending his contract with Manchester City he said I'm open to it yes I'm so comfortable working with this club it depends on the results when you are somewhere for five years it depends on the results we will see what happens this season and the next season then he continued on to say it's not about what the club wants or not for me i want to see my players and the reaction of my players and everything it's not as simple as i want to extend i want to see the club i want to see the players i want to see how we are still working together this is the most important thing after five years together you have to feel like we can do it together and enjoy the work together when i feel that is not worse we will see with the club the best way when i read these words from pep guardiola he's basically saying i'm willing to stay at man city but if i can't push man city into a higher level then I will exit that's basically what he's saying it's similar to what Guardiola said with Barcelona back in 2012 so he's applying the same philosophy the reason why these rumors show up like the clause and all that and why the media makes up all these reports is because when a coach does bad with a team in the season and they have had one of the worst seasons they have had that's where the media likes to make all these reports and so of course we're going to see stuff like this and it has always been like this and if you look at the 2017-2018 season Man City won the league with 100 points and then if we move on to the 2018-2019 season, Man City beat a infamous Liverpool with 98 points. So they won the league twice in a row. And then when you go to the third season, right here in the 2019-2020 season, which is this season, the one that we are in right now, they are third place and Liverpool has 49 points and Man City has 35. So there's a 14 point difference between the third place and the first place. And so that's why these reports start to come in. And so if we're going to believe anything, if you think that Guardiola is going to leave, I think that you should just wait and see how all of this unfolds because if you look at the whole history of Guardiola as a manager he has always told the media publicly that he's going to leave or he tells the board that he's going to leave so it has to come from him no matter what you see on the internet no matter what you see on Instagram on Twitter wherever you're reading from I would take that rumor with a grain of salt for example when he was leaving Barcelona in 2012 he said it right here the reason is simple four years is enough I'm drained I need to fill up the demand has been very high and the manager must be strong so he stood up to the media and he announced that he was leaving. Then if we go to Guardiola's last season with Bayern Munich, he spoke to the board. And so the chairman of Bayern Munich said he came over to me two weeks ago at our Christmas party and he told me that he was looking for a new challenge. He was almost apologetic. I'm not disappointed in him. So Guardiola has always been a man that was not afraid to say what he needs to say. So we need to hear the words from him saying he's leaving Manchester City. That is when we can say, okay, Guardiola is going to leave Man City. You should never believe these reports because the media will always try and twist these words. And so the question is do I think Guardiola is going to leave Man City at the end of the 2019-2020 season? I think he is because he has been with Man City for almost four years and also we have to see how this season ends up being because right now he's 14 points behind the leaders of the EPL and also it has been announced that Man City is going to be playing against Real Madrid in the round of 16 so if Real Madrid knocks out Man City in the round of 16 that means that he's 14 points behind the leaders and he got knocked out of the UCL before we get into March which will probably be his worst season since 2016 when he signed with Man City. And so I think Guardiola's future will be decided in 
in that game. If he gets eliminated by Real Madrid in the round of 16, he will leave. If he beats Real Madrid and continues to move forward, I think he will stay. Even though I'm a big Man City fan and I love Manchester City, the reason why I say that he's going to leave in the 2019-2020 season is because I think Real Madrid is going to knock out Manchester City in the round of 16. As much as I hate to say that, I believe that that's going to be true and I think that's going to happen. Now, the other question is, if Guardiola leaves Manchester City, will he go to Barza? I'm going to say that there is a 30% chance that Guardiola goes to Barcelona because right now Barcelona is on a transition to rebuild and if there's one thing that Guardiola is good at is that Guardiola knows how to rebuild and build a new dynasty and that is exactly what Bartomeu is looking for and that is why Bartomeu is considering that as an option that's the only reason why I give that 30% if Barcelona had a good coach and Barcelona had someone that knows how to rebuild then I'll give Guardiola no chance to come back to Barcelona we just have to wait until how all of this unfolds let's see what happens in that game between Real Madrid and Man City and let's see how Man City does in the EPL later as the season keeps going forward and if Man City gets eliminated in the UCL I think Barza is going to be waiting for that announcement by Guardiola that he will be leaving now the second topic that I want to talk about is going to be a very quick topic it's about the VAR incident that happened on Saturday between Real Sociedad and Barcelona so just to give a little bit of context if you guys didn't watch the game Barcelona did tie against Real Sociedad 2-2 and there was an incident on the 93rd minute where Piquet got fouled inside the box but the ref didn't give that foul to Piquet which could have won us the game against La Sociedad and so Piquet's shirt got pulled by the defender and it was the exact same foul that Busquets did on the Real Sociedad player and so the big question was why was Busquets foul checked by VAR but not Llorente's foul on Piquet and that's what started the whole controversy and then Busquets spoke after the game and he said there's always going to be controversy for their penalty there is a clash between the two of us maybe I have grabbed Llorente but if you set the bar there is going to be difficult the proof of that comes with Piquet because it's clearer than mine I don't know why VAR didn't review it those moments have to be looked at by VAR but there's no need to stew on it even though it's a moment that could change the game then we had the drunk speak after the game also about this incident and he said if in the first half it's a penalty against Busquets in the second half you have to give the one in Piquet's favor Valverde also spoke about that incident and he said each manager sees things in their favor we're not objective we're on the bench with our team shirts on I will say that the one on Piquet is a penalty and that theirs with Busquets isn't I suppose their coach will say the opposite we thought there was maybe a pool on Piquet I told the fourth official to check it but I don't know if VAR did then we had Real Sociedad respond on Twitter with pictures and if you look at the picture they're basically saying that that it was not a foul because Piquet was also pulling on the shirt but look Piquet was not only getting pulled on but he also got pushed by another defender and if we look at the picture we could clearly see that there was a player pulling on his shirt and another defender pushing Piquet from the back and so that's a double foul and I don't even know if that exists, but it's a double foul. Two fouls were committed in that box. And it's crazy how we find this out through a phone or like through an iPad. Like we could clearly see these fouls from our own phones, yet FIFA pours millions of dollars on this new VAR technology and they can't find that out. They can't make the right obvious decisions. And so that's my point. I'm not here to complain about the incident. It already happened. It is what it is and we have to move forward. But my point is, is that the VAR system needs to be fixed. Like how are we going to correct this. And so look, these mistakes happen all the time, not in just La Liga, not just to Barza. This happens to everyone. And that's why I want to bring this up because I'm not here to defend Barza and that incident that happened in the 93rd minute. I'm here to defend every team that plays soccer on the field. There needs to be a change on how VAR works. And in my opinion, I think that every foul that happens, every offsides play that happens, it has to be checked by VAR no matter what. There can't be a decision on the referee saying, okay, I'm going to check VAR or I'm not going to check VAR. There is a reason why why FIFA poured millions of dollars into this technology. We have to use it all the time, no matter what. And so a few days later, Barza did file a complaint and want answers from the Spanish FA president on why VAR was not used. And it says right here on the title, Barcelona to lodge complaint over lack of VAR use. And then if we move down here, it says, according to Mundo Deportivo, Barcelona want to know why it was used in one occasion and not the other. Had it been called, the Catalans would have had the opportunity to win the game. So this can't continue to happen in La Liga or the Premier League. We've seen this happen in the Premier League also. We've seen how many times Manchester City has been screwed over. We have seen how Guardiola has been screwed over also. And the same thing with Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich always gets screwed over by VAR. And it's hurting a lot of teams and ruining football as a whole. And yes, I know mistakes and bad calls do happen in all of the sports. Not everything needs to be perfect, but there has to be an improvement in football. Especially now that FIFA has poured millions of dollars into this tech. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Tomorrow I'm going to be covering 
Madrid, El Clásico. I'm going to be posting a preview for Barcelona versus Real Madrid. It's going to be very exciting. A lot of things are going to happen in that game. I heard that there's going to be a lot of violence going on throughout that game. I don't know why, but, but one of the possible reasons is because of the protests and all that, but there's going to be a lot going on in that game. Things are going to be heating up, and I'm going to cover all of that tomorrow. So, so make sure you subscribe, stay tuned, and thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate the love that you guys show me on TikTok, on YouTube, on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time.